I got find need to park in the middle of town. Up we go. Look at this. In around through trees. Not a bother. So here's the question. Can this bike do a burnout? Under seat storage for this. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Perfect test. Speed up. As you can tell from the keys, this isn't my bike. <laughs> this is actually my better half's bike. That, I received so many DMs asking to review it, then I'm gonna do it for you. So, today we're taking the Benelli BN125 out for a review. <laughs> this bike is actually so manageable. I usually wheel the GSXF around here and it's a big boat, a big lump of a yoke. I love it though. And straight away off the bat, this is just so much more manageable. If you're living in a town or a city, you have to park this bike somewhere where you need to wheel it or you just want a bike that, if you get caught in a sticky situation, you'll have no problem man handling it, or woman handling it, um, around. Definitely this is the bike. Already there's something about this thing I like. It looks bigger, it looks, looks like a 250 with the tubular frame, brakes up front. It just looks a bit meatier than a 125. The fairing at the front adds to it, I think. It's the size of, of the fairing, exhaust, it's just a right bike. Look at that for styling. I had, my first bike was a Suzuki RG12, oh no, RG80. Purple one. My God, I would have loved a bike like this as my first bike. I just, I just, just love this little thing. You see, it's not that little to be fair. I'm only calling it little because I'm used to 650s and seeing people on litre bikes and stuff and I have this habit of calling everything little then after that it's, it's a it's a nice little bike this. So without further ado let's, let's have at it. The handling on this thing and the brakes, they're really good. Oh my God, you could have such fun in this thing. It's so forgiven. I mean, if you make a mistake, you have a little bit of time to try and correct it. I think this bike is 144 kg in weight. And I think that's what makes it so manageable. Now the, the mirrors are off this because they stick out here. You have great view with those mirrors, but they, they don't look great, so instead there's a barring mirror there, and it's a convex mirror, so you actually get great view of everything, but um, it, it is down there, so you have to kind of look for it. Well, that's not a big deal either. This is so comfortable. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm sitting just as I would in an armchair at home or something. It's so comfy. It's really, really comfortable. Great bike for in around town, this now. The only thing, my immediate thing here is 
that the power isn't amazing but that's to be expected here what, what are we you know what are we really reviewing here it's a 125 beginner bike and I mean it's perfect for in around town I'm having no issues here keeping up with traffic or whatever second gear 60 kilometers an hour, we're bombing along, third gear, gonna have to slow down now because I'm already doing over the speed limit. It's so much fun! <laughs> this is so much fun! It just feels forgiving, easy to ride. Do you wanna give me a bit of the road there, buddy? Um I'm 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 digging this. I'm actually surprised at how fast it is. I feel like I could drive this bike anywhere. I could turn it around in the narrowest of spots. I could drive it on the footpath there comfortably. It's so easy to drive. And the town is where this bike really comes into its own. You know, if you were a courier now or something, this would definitely be the bike for that. Now if I need to park in the middle of town, up we go. Look at this. In around through trees. Not a bother. It's a great little bike this stuff. It, it, it moves. Yeah, so the power, we'll test the top end power after a bit, but I'm having no issues with the power here, to be fair. But it is so comfortable. I could do long journeys. That lad is having a great time with that flower there. I could do long journeys in this, no problem. On a motorway, this bike would not come into its own. I know from experience this bike can do motorway speeds, but that's it. It tops out there 120 kilometers an hour. That's you. That's as fast as you're going. But you're doing the, you're doing the speed limit. Better not drop it or my missus, will, I'll be divorced. Upside down forks for the price of this bike. I mean, the price is the big plus on this bike. Upside down forks, that tubular framing, the looks of it. And the insurance costs really low. Running costs really low. I'm always pulling in for petrol all the time and Nikki's like, no, I'm good, no, I'm good, no, I'm good. And I, I, I keep thinking that she's going to run out, but she never does. <laughs> Comes with a H stand, obviously. That's a nice little feature. Service costs of this bike are really cheap. Filters, oil, parts, all that stuff is cheap. And you can ride two up on this wheel. I've, I've done it. Um, from experience, you can go two up on this. I've had the misses on the back of this bike um, and there was no issues there, to be totally honest. You do lose a lot of your whatever nippiness you have, but you can do it and it's not, it's comfortable. Two big chaps on this now probably wouldn't be the best thing, but Let's give this a little blast. <laughs> you power that. So 
know, when this bike hits, with me on it, when this bike hits 100 kilometers an hour, it loses a little bit of acceleration. I should slow down. Yeah, when this bike hits 100, it loses a bit. But that's not an issue. If I was a beginner now, this is the bike I would want to have to do little maneuvers like this. Thanking you. And for racing yarses and stuff like that that's behind me, this is the bike. Let's have it. <laughs> bike is plenty fast enough. And to be honest, as a beginner, sometimes, look at as a biker, sometimes you just don't know when to roll off that throttle and you get a little bit buzzed up. If you're a beginner, this is the bike for that. Because it won't it won't let you zoom away there at 200 kilometers an hour and you get in trouble. Look at that little beast. What a beautiful looking bike. Digging it. Now, of course, we've changed the mirrors, we've tinted the front headlight. The sound wasn't great, there is no growl out of it. You don't have engine growl, so you're relying on exhaust for a bit of oomph. It doesn't give it to you. If you can't afford to change the exhaust, or you don't want to change the exhaust, I have a video there of a very simple, easy, cheap fix. And there's a before and after as well, so I'll try and link that somewhere for you. And it does give it a little bit of growl. We did a tail tidy as well. There's another video for that. Um, makes a world of difference. That tail tidy was one of the best things we did to that bike. Now we kept the big plate, but I think we're gonna to have to go smaller with that. So one of the things in this bike is the plastic tank. This is plastic. A lot of bikes are, I, I, you know, that's one of the, the, the negative sides but that's, that's a cost thing. And to me, it doesn't bother me. Under seat storage for this. Here we go. It's not great. You know, you have your battery, you have your tool kit, and that's about all she wrote. You're getting not a lot in there, to be fair. The brakes in this bike are actually amazing. And I know people are going to laugh at that and go, what is this lad talking about? For the size and weight of this bike, the brake setup that they have on this, it caught me out. First time I used the bike, I, I, I was like, oh my God. Um, a mate of mine hopped on it. He usually rides litre bikes and he was like, ah, oh, take it for a spin. And he drove it out the filling station, pressed the front brake, and the front wheel locked up and nearly went sideways. <laughs> it catches you by surprise. You think it's a cheap bike. You think they're going to cheap out on everything. And... The brakes just work. So here's the question. Can this bike do a burnout? Well, for the answer to that, we've already answered that actually in another video. So if you wanna know if this bike can do a burnout or not, hit that video up. So who is this bike for? Well, for me, in my opinion, this bike is for the beginner. It's for someone who's just starting out and wants their first bike. Someone who wants the looks of an aggressive, naked bike, but is also looking for cheap to insure, cheap to service, and cheap to run. It, this bike is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, you come around a corner and you've taken it too wide and you have to correct or you're wheeling the bike around and you misstep or something and next minute you have to hold the whole weight of the bike it's very forgiving it's going to forgive small mistakes 
nobody can forgive all mistakes or big mistakes but this bike is very forgiving it's for someone who likes an aggressive naked style of bike now you're not going to be in entering any TT races on it but that's a good thing especially if you're a beginner because it just takes you out of the chance of having a little cheeky race or you know blasting it around the place there's a limit to the power in the bike and I, for me I think that's a good thing I think the GSX 650F is a good second bike a bike where you've learned the basics on this and you want to level up I have a review for that as well on my channel give it a look if that's something you're interested in I just feel so comfortable on this bike lad are you for real I think you're gonna you're definitely gonna move on from this bike but you're gonna look back at this bike fondly and you're gonna always remember it as far as I can see and how comfortable you felt in it and how it was a good introduction to motorbikes and um, is this happening? fuck that um, you're gonna look back fondly of how you got into bikes and it was a Benelli BN125 you had and you had great fun on it and you felt so comfortable on it and it was so cheap to run and buy and there was no complications and it was just you and your bike having fun and learning how a bike works look at this look at this perfect test didn't have to put the foot down look how narrow them cones are oh that was touching that bar and mirror hit my knee oh could you imagine i dropped mrs bike dude this is it this is how nippy this is in and out of traffic serious parameter speed gear indicator let's take it for a spin what's the point in just talking the whole idea of having this is so you can see it for yourself so have all the usuals this bike has hazard warning lights as well that's a nice little touch gear indicator there it is right beside the fuel gauge neutral light look at the the revs i love that it's very night rider ish make sure there's no one coming around here gonna kill me speed up you see I might, down, I might be down talking the power of this bike, but if you're a beginner, what I just did there is well enough for you. You're going to get your giggles out of it, you're going to have your fun out of it, but you're also, like, you could get into trouble there in that corner. I actually think I am beginning to really, really, really like this bike. I was going to, I was doing this review and I was, I was putting it off and I was getting messages and people were like, oh, lovely bike, and I love the tail tidy, or I love the exhaust. And, Will you do a review of the bike, thinking of getting my first bike? And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to drive this 125 now around town, and I'm going to have to drive it around for a few hours. And I was like, oh, is this going to happen? But do you know what? I've enjoyed every minute of it. Hey, story, yo! <laughs> um, I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I really have. 